Hey, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to another podcast, man. This is the new interview series. We're excited about interviewing superstars, people. Um, I consider this my brother, my friend. We've been knowing each other for I don't even know how long now. Uh, I'm going to let y'all tell him. He's going to tell you a little bit about himself, and then um, I'm going to pass it to him. So tell us a little bit about you. Yeah, my name is Stephen Smoot. Uh, from Houston, Texas, by way of uh, New York City, Brooklyn, New York, and uh, I'm a I'm a IT entrepreneur. Mm. So. so what is that? What is IT entrepreneur? Explain that, because some people might say they don't even know what that is, though. Yeah, well, um, basically, I, I I'm an entrepreneur in all things, you know, IT and anything in technology. Right now, I have a uh, MSP, a managed service providing company mm. um, that we deal with um, uh, IT. We deal with small companies and their day-to-day um, IT needs. So if they need help desk, they need help with their servers, okay. if they need help with uh, you know websites, all that kind of stuff, we go ahead and we, we help them uh, facilitate all that. So did uh, I, I sent, I sent um, one, did I, were you gonna talk to that one guy I sent you? Yeah, I talked to him. Okay, okay, talk, yeah. okay. Yeah. So um, IT entrepreneur, me personally, I think it's, it seems like a lot of work. It is a lot of work. It is a lot of work. I mean, the, the thing with IT is that it changes so often. I mean, uh, you know, they used to say it, it changes every six months, but even I now, I mean, it's, it's I mean, it's changing almost every four months. So right. there's a lot of stuff that you need to be knowledgeable about. But for the the main thing with IT, you just need to know the overall perspective. You need to know you. that things are going to go faster. You know, you need to have uh, so you got to stay current. current. Yeah, you need to stay current, but you just really need to know concepts. Mm. Because technology is going to keep changing, but the concepts always stay the same. So, what about the people who say, uh, I, well, "IT"? I mean, is that like something to do with with computers? That's something to do with the internet? Like, what exactly is like the IT kind of work that you do? So, um, I mean, IT deals with I mean, so a much variety of a things. variety of things. I okay. mean, I mean, you can be a you can be a coder, right? Okay. You can be um, you can be a web developer. Um, you can be on the help desk. Gotcha. Um, you can be, there's so many different um, aspects of IT that you can actually get into, mm. which makes it so diverse, which means that there are a lot of options for you to really make money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's so, good. Um, everything that we do now touches IT. I mean, from your refrigerator that opens, you know, from your car, you know, yeah. to your air dryer, to your security mm. camera, everything that we do touches it. So, mm. so, so if you want to get into IT, you can, you can really be in anything. So, would you say that the, that is wide open for somebody to become entrepreneur absolutely it's, it's definitely wide open. i mean you can get into you can get in where you fit in as they say okay so so this is the thing though do people have, do people have to go to school for that or can they can, can they do self learning matter of fact i would I i'm would, asking you yeah this. yeah yeah <laughs> I, I actually recommend against schooling for it mm, right? I, that's I, interesting I, I recommend against it okay. first of all if you're going to go to a traditional college anywhere from a two-year program or a four-year program i got you because it is changing so quickly by the time you finish your degree program it's already changed the Ooh. information that you already that you already received is irrelevant most mm. of the time but if you can go and do a boot camp or a small uh, certification program man i mean you can actually get that information and then immediately go out there and try to make money using the skills that you just learned just a few months ago or a few weeks ago okay so I'm new and I want to ask you I said okay I want to get started today mm. what do I do do I go do I go to YouTube and search or like how do I like how you start your business I mean there's a couple so there's really like two ways you can do it right one you can start doing boot camps right okay. and boot camps there, there are a lot of boot camps out there which really is a crash course in mm. exactly what you want to do right so whether or not you want to do coding or whatever matter of fact Google has one of the best um, uh, boot camps out there right now and they're teaching everything is it know? free it's uh it's not free okay but okay. it's affordable it's very okay, affordable. okay. It's, it's not free but it's very affordable it's better than a four-year degree oh absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. i mean you're, you're talking you're talking about you know uh, a couple thousand dollars mm-hmm. versus you know a couple hundred thousand dollars that's true that's you true. know where they where they're you know in the colleges right now um and there are also some free programs I'm all about YouTube University. <laughs> you know, YouTube. Me too. Me too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So even in the YouTube University, I mean, you can get a whole training series program on whatever you want to learn, mm. and it's still there, right? That's but true. you know, sometimes the boot camps are a lot better because you want to understand um, what kind of environments that you need to set up so that you have a lab so that you can actually test. I mean, test the the practices that you're learning. That's school. true. So, um, I ask this because I I, I I know a lot. Me, I'm I'm a I'm a self learner. Mm-hmm. So I'm very like self learning person. So, but I'm also big on entrepreneurship. So why is it why is it so important? 
So, question is, have you been an entrepreneur your whole life? Yeah, I, I've been an entrepreneur <laughs> all, all my life. I mean, I'm, I'm from, like I said, I'm from New York, Brooklyn, mm -hmm. you know, and so my family was always, you know, hustlers, not in the negative sense necessarily, but they all, they were always trying to get a dollar. As a matter of fact, I was, uh, I'm just recalling a story of my uh, my grandfather. We used to actually go out to a prostate park. Mm. We get some lanyards. We cut up the string. We tie them up. Put a whistle on the bottom. Wow. Put them on a stick, and we would go out and we would go sell whistles for fifty cents. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So, and, and and you know, we were, I was like seven years old when we were doing that. So that's one of the the the, the earliest recollections I have of just hustling. Yeah. So do you think that 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 people entrepreneurs are created or they're born? That's a, this, this is this is a question. And it's it's a little bit of both, right? Okay. I mean, um, so, sometimes you're just created because you have that you have that drive in mm -hmm. you. And, you know, I mean, sometimes it's born out of you because you just have that drive, and that's just your personality. You, gotcha. know? you can't stand still. You can't sit still. You got to be moving twenty four seven. Other people, um, entrepreneurs, are, are, are born because of the situation that you're in. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Sometimes it's like, the only way for you to get out of a situation is for you to do something and not to wait for somebody else to pay your bills Come on. Or, 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 or tell you what to do next. You have to go out there and find that, that thing that you need to do okay. to, to take to the next level. So it's a little bit of both and it depends on what situation you're in, you know? So, so, you, so you think, so when, I, when, you, when you say that the situation, so, cause it's so many people in today's, cause we have, we have the internet, we have yeah. all, so many people say, man, I wanna be entrepreneur, yeah. I'm so I'm so excited, man. I'm, but what is the the first direction would you give them? What is that first thing you would tell them as an entrepreneur they need to start doing? You need to start reading. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna lie, you, you need to start reading. Okay. And, um, a lot of people don't like to read. You know? mm, um, that's true. If you look at, if you're looking at the top, if you're looking at the top uh, uh, money makers in the United States, I mean, you're looking from the top one or two. To three percent of, of, of earners in the whole world, you know. What I'm saying? Um, also, one of the things that you look at, I mean, only two percent of all people in the United States have a library card. You know what wow. I'm saying? I mean, I'm not saying that there's a you know a correlation, but mm -hmm. I mean that that's a, a good a good thing. But people are not reading, and if you're not reading, you're not learning. If you're not learning, then you're not growing. You know. And that's and, and you know what? What's so what's so crazy about that whole mindset is, people. I hear people say. I can't afford it. There's a lot of books to buy. <laughs> you just said something yeah. that was key. A library card. Library card you can have a free library card. Correct. Go check out some books mm -hmm. and be done. Yeah. yeah. And as a matter of fact, the libraries are, are even great now. They're all digital. So, I mean, you check out an ebook. You know, oh, like, wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You go to the public library, you go online, and say, oh, I need to get that book. And there's an ebook right there. You just, you know, read it on your iPad or your computer. So, so. Let's talk about recommendations of products, okay? Because one thing I know, people didn't know, because I hear people saying, I'm not a fast reader. What do you use? Do you, is it any software you use or something that reads to you? Or are you just uh, like, what's your method of reading? Now, um, I, I, I did, actually, I did this um, probably 11 years ago. I took okay. a speed reading course. Okay. Right? I, I took a you. speed reading course. It was called IQ at the time. Okay. And, and that helped me out, you know, mm. to, to just read and comprehend um, the the content I was getting a little bit faster. I got the you. other thing that I, the other thing that I, I use is Blinklist. Mm. So Blinklist is a a summary a summary of a book, right? And they have so many books out there. I think you might pay a subscription might be like nine nine bucks a, a year or ten bucks mm. ten bucks a year or something like that. But I was able to get through so much content and get the and get the principles out of the book because a know. lot of books. I mean, you know. They, 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 they got, got a lot of filler. They yes. got a lot of filler. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times you say, hey, just tell me what the main idea is. Just tell me what you need <laughs> to know. You know? I ain't got time for all yeah, this. Yeah, but, yeah. but if you're doing that, then you get it. The next thing I always do, I always, 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 always listen or watch content at two, two X the speed or three X the speed. There we go. So I that, is, that is good. Yeah. 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 That is really good because you know what was intriguing? When um, I went to his house and he was watching a YouTube video. And that YouTube video was going bad. I'm like, man, what are you doing? But he's watching it. See me, I, I use something called Speechify. Okay, yeah. All right. Speechify is, is very time consuming mm -hmm. because you uh, you have to take pictures of every page. Oh yeah, yeah. But once you take a listen, a whole 300 page book, it took me about two hours to take a picture of it. Mm -hmm. But I can listen to it mm -hmm. in one day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I can speed it up. Yeah. So it can go how fast or slow. Me, I'm on 
getting different points from books. Correct. correct. I'm not. I'm not on this. This book is gonna like my book. My book is gonna save your life. I'm not on that. Yeah, yeah. I'm on that. What nuggets can you get out of here? Correct. That can push your life forward. Correct, correct. So anything I read in the next 20, 30, 40, whatever God take me out of here, I'm looking for nuggets. Correct. I'm not, and that's what you need. You need to have nuggets. You need to have actionable things that you can do yes. in your day the next day. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So even yes. after you read a book, if you don't have anything to to actually uh, have an action plan on, then it's too much. Or if mm. there's too much for you to, to take action on, then mo most people don't do anything. That's you know true. That's you true. know, it's, 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 it's parallel. Uh, you know. Uh, Paralysis by analysis. Yes, that's basically. yes. Yeah. And I think that's good though that that people need to people need to hear like, oh okay, I can use blankness, I can use speech file. Like, cause people are looking for ways. It's kind of like the Bible. Mm -hmm. All right. How did I read the whole Bible? I didn't read it because I didn't read it. Yeah, correct. I listened to it. Correct. correct. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was like, how you read the whole Bible? Yeah. Well, I never read the whole Bible, but I listened to the whole Bible. Correct, correct. correct. So I bought a CD series. Mm -hmm. Of every chapter Correct. of the Bible, yeah. and it allows me to listen to it. Correct. And that's how I got through the Bible. Because yeah. some people, oh, it's boring, all these stories. But again, when I'm reading the Bible, and people say, how do you remember so many verses? Mm -hmm. these, these are these are these are gems that I'm getting out yeah. of it. Same with books. Yeah. I'm just looking for gems. I'm not looking. I'm not looking for one book, two books to change my life. Yeah. If I can read 20 books yeah. and get 10 gems, yeah. those 10 gems. Push my life forward. Yeah. Listen, that's how the Bible was that's how the Bible was communicated in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nobody nobody was able to read, you know what I'm saying? They just had they just had the preachers and the yes. and the prophets and everything like that. They were out there reciting the word of God mm. through all the, you know, just just retelling the stories of the mm. Bible. And there's no there's, there's no shame in that. So tell me how important is focus as an entrepreneur? Man, focus, man. It, <laughs> how important is it? It's tough because in this in this Technology driven age, mm. we have so many things that are distracting us, right. stealing our stealing our attention every day. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I mean, from Facebook, social Ooh. media, you oh. know what I'm saying? A TV, everything, mm. that, you know, family members, it doesn't matter. But there's so many things that are pulling your attention, your mm. focus away from the task at hand, you know, That's which crazy. is to build your legacy, build your, you know, build a, you know, a, a foundation mm. so that you can build something that mm. you can actually own and take to the next level and fulfill your dreams. And I think, I think that is, that is, you know, the acronym we all know is follow one course until successful. Correct. But the problem with, with being focused is like me, I work in the dark. Correct, correct. People say, how are you working in the dark? It just, to me, it just, I feel like I'm in the middle of the day, it's dark in, in my yeah. office. I feel like I'm zoomed in, yeah. and and I'm just me and me and that yeah. is, is is with each other. So I mean, I think that's that's very important. So tell me a little bit about affirmations and and waking up in the morning and having self talk. Like, do you do that? Yeah, I, I I haven't I haven't been doing that. I need to actually get back to it. But um, um, when I was actually coming up, when I was making my big push to actually leave my job the first time, mm. um, um, I was using affirmations every day. I mean, I would literally go into the bathroom by myself, mm -hmm. look in the mirror, and read my list of affirmations to myself. I mean, I would I would be in there for 15, 20, sometimes 30 wow. minutes. I mean, and I would, oh, it would bring me to tears even sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm, I'm trying to tell my subconscious the truth that I want to be, right? Wow. Um, and, and not even just telling my subconscious, but letting myself, letting myself remember what it is I am, you know what I'm saying? Mm. That's really what it is. I'm yeah. just telling myself something, something I really want to be. I'm already that, yes. but I got to remember who I am, Ooh. you know what I'm saying? And that's what affirmations do. Yes. Remind you of who you are. Now, you saying, tell yourself, tell yourself who you are mm -hmm. yeah. instead of where you want to be? Explain Correct. that. Correct. So, um, so a lot of times we, we let other people tell us who we are. Mm. We let other people say, hey, you know what? You're an employee. Damn. You know okay, uh, you're um, you're only worth this amount of money. Ooh. You're only you're you're only this or you're only that, right? Yes. But you gotta rem you gotta remind yourself that no, I'm bigger than this category or this label that people are putting on me. Big fat. I am I am who and depending on your spiritual, I am who God said I am. You wow. know, all those things. So mm -hmm. whatever aspect that you that you remember that mm -hmm. you are, that's who you are. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If, if you keep telling yourself, hey, I'm a good person, I'm a great person, that's who you are. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? If you keep saying, man, I can't do this, I can't, you're a can't person. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But if you remind yourself the person that you are, hey, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a successful person, I'm a focused person. I am, you know, I am, um, I am, uh, um, I love I am. Yeah, the, the I am, I am is the thing that you're, that you're self 
preparing yourself. Like, correct, correct. I am great. Yeah. I, I, I am in the the best position of my life. I am becoming a better person today. Correct. Like, because you keep having this confirmation mm -hmm. of what you are. Though. Yeah. So, um, let's, let's kind of shift the the the, the, uh, the pivot real quick. So, name me as an entrepreneur three things that you have purchased mm -hmm. that you think that help you as an entrepreneur. Wow. Um, <laughs> as an entrepreneur, I, I would think. Well, there's there's three there's. One, one is a book, right? Okay. So my, my, my first book that I, I, I really like was um, a book by Tim Ferriss called uh, The 4-Hour Workweek. Gotcha. I love that. I love, I love that, book. that book too. That, that, was, that, <laughs> was the that was the first book that kind of took my mind from, you know, this employee standpoint to this business owner gotcha. um, kind of uh, standpoint and knowing that there was more. So that was the first thing is books. Um, the, the next thing is... <sighs> yeah, it's, tough. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. Are we, are we talking about this... this I'm just talking about this year mm -hmm. or something you can give people right now and mm -hmm. say, as an entrepreneur, first thing, you need that book. Yeah. Exactly. Something that's going to push yeah. you forward. Yeah. Second thing. Um, second thing, and um, man. Because I would. No, 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 no. <laughs> you tell me. No, so I would say the second thing you need, you need you, you need to figure out time so that you can watch something. Correct, correct. That can, that can, that can change your, your mind. Because my thing is, Whatever entertains you, trains you. Mm, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So whatever you're watching, yeah. whatever you're consuming. Correct. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's called Facebook feed. They're feeding you. Correct. <laughs> they're feeding your soul. Yeah. And before you know it's 10 hours later. Yeah. And you're like, damn, I was on Facebook this long? Correct, correct. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, as an entrepreneur, you know, a book and what else you think? Was, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to get a planner. Ooh. You got to get a planner. Yes. If you don't plan your yes. day, your day will plan you. Ooh, <laughs> say that. Yeah, man. If you don't plan your day, your day will plan you. Yes. And because and so many things come up against us so many times, like, mm. again, those distractions. But once you write it down and you put it in your planner, and, and a lot of times you can have your planner on your phone, mm. or you can get something that you actually write. I, and I use this right. on my phone. I mean, I always, this, I'm not trying to, I ain't making no money for the Galaxy Note yeah. 10. <laughs> I, I write down all the stuff. I mean, I got, I, got you. I got tons and tons of notes that mm -hmm. I write every single day and then put it on my on my calendar because if you don't schedule it, it's out. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's out. If, if it's not on your on your calendar, it's out really. You know what I'm saying? And then it becomes an emergency. Mm -hmm. like, oh, I got to deal with this. Oh, that's an emergency if you got to deal with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then emergencies take over your whole day. You know what I'm saying? That's true. So, so you want to write it down. Mm -hmm. you know, so. And the Bible basically says, write the vision down and make a plan. There you go. So yeah. my thing is, if if I tell people this all the time, if if God say, hey, start cooking the recipe, yeah. put it in the oven, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna take it out, and he gonna put the season on it. Correct. The Correct. problem is some of you ain't even put it in the oven yet. Yeah. <laughs> and another thing is, if you don't write things down, if you don't schedule it, how do you know if things working? You know what I'm saying? That's true. If you don't write things down, That's how true. do you know that you, if you had a great day today, That's true. how are you going to duplicate that day? Because now, you know, now you wrote down the recipe for today. Mm -hmm. Like, today was a great day. What, what, what was that recipe? Can I, do, mm -hmm. can I duplicate this day? I had a thousand dollar day today. What did I do? Let me go ahead and duplicate that day. What you know, activity what, did I do? What activity did I do? Mm -hmm. All I gotta do is look at my calendar and look at my schedule and say, man, this is what I did when I had a thousand dollar day. Wow. This is what I did when I had a five hundred dollar day. Mm -hmm. Let me let me choose which day I wanna have. I wanna have a five hundred dollar day or I wanna have a thousand dollar day. Or I wanna have a fifty dollar day. Or I wanna have a nobody day. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you might schedule, you might schedule in that, hey, this today is only for relaxation. Mm -hmm. and that's you need that too, you know what I'm saying? But what does that day look like? Yes. You know what I'm saying? What does that day look That's like? That's what you just said. Whatever your day look like, you controlling that day. Correct, correct. You know what I'm saying? And I know people, and I hear people, oh, well, um, God is in control. Listen, <laughs> let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. God give you, he, he yeah, allows absolutely. you absolutely. the breath of life, yeah. but he lets you make your own decisions. Correct, correct. You know what I'm saying? We put too much pressure on God yeah, when yeah. you made a bad decision. Correct, correct. It correct. wasn't him. Yeah. It was yeah. you. Yeah. He, give, he gives us He gives us um, the ability to have dominion, right? Yes. To give dominion over the whole world, right? <laughs> you know? And so we, we can't take that lightly. You know what I'm mm. saying? Dominion is a big word. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Not, I mean, I mean it's, it's an all-encompassing kind of kind of concept, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But if we we try to if we try to, um, to to shovel that off to something else or, or you know say oh God you know God's gonna do everything no we gotta do our part and then God will do everything that we can't do you Ooh, know what I'm saying man you know, God will do, do everything part. that we cannot do correct, correct you know what I'm saying but we haven't gave him nothing to work with correct correct all right so uh, entrepreneurship all right 
Um, I'm gonna skip that question because I did this. So, uh, you already talked about the book. All right, so give us a uh, a money making saving tip. Uh, a money making or a saving tip. Now, I mean, because I know the reason why I said this before you get started, the reason why I said this is because as an entrepreneur, you better be a great story <laughs> over your money because sometimes. Yeah. You, what you made last month, you might not make this correct, month. Correct, correct. So give us a, a money making saving tip. Yeah, and I don't know if this is a money making saving tip, um, oh, but principle. Sorry. principle, you have to have you have to have a good CPA. Mm. You have to have because if you're not gonna if you're not gonna take time to learn about money and taxes and all this stuff, you better have somebody in place <laughs> in place that can do that. I got you. Because we get, we. You're getting so much money in, mm -hmm. um, and you need to find out how do I protect those money? How do I protect that asset? You know what I'm saying? How, how do I protect these, this coin? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And listen, the top one percent, the Donald Trumps, and all these billionaires and stuff like that, they, they're not paying taxes because they're trying to avoid taxes. They're doing what's legal. You know what I'm saying? They're doing what's legal. They feel like I'm yeah. yeah. So if you if you're paying more money than you need to, mm -hmm. whose fault is that? That's your fault. That's you know what I'm saying? Fault. Because you're not asking the question, and it's okay that you don't know all the information. Mm. It's too much information out there. But you need to have somebody that you go to and say, "Hey, listen, how can I save an extra dollar? How can I do mm. this? How can I do that?" That's the that's what you need. I have a great task guy. His name is Al Pool. Shout out to you, Al. Uh, <laughs> you know, and he tells me everything. He's like, "Listen, man, you, if you want to save this money, you need to do this. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to, uh, uh, you know." Uh, put this money away for taxes. You need to do this. For, um, take these receipts. All that kind of good stuff. But mm. you need to have somebody in the corner that that can. Do and, it. I, and I think, and I think that's key because, again, the problem. And, I, and I'm gonna and I'm I'm shift to it. What I think people should be doing too is, every dollar that you make, mm -hmm. 30, 40 percent should go back into remaking. It. Cool. Yes. Absolutely. And you, you need to reinvest. In, you need to reinvest. The problem in. is, say I sold five hundred books. Mm -hmm. All right, and. Out of 500 books, I made $15,000. Correct. All right. Now, you divide that by taxes, they probably took, let's say, $3,000 in taxes. Mm -hmm. So then my profit was $12,000, just giving a rundown. Yeah. So my profit was $12,000. Do I say, oh, I got $12,000 to pay my bills? Or do I say, no, 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 no. I need to take $4,000 and spend that into marketing Correct. to get more eyeballs on what you got going on. So I, I think yeah. I think that that's key though. Yeah, and, and like one more thing, entrepreneurs, as an entrepreneur, you know that every dollar that comes in is not your dollar. You know what I'm saying? It, it, that's not your dollar. It's, it's, it's a dollar that needs to be um, that needs to be spent on certain departments. So when that dollar comes out, I need 10% that needs to be focused on R and D. I need 10% mm -hmm. that needs to be focused on, on taxes. I need 10% mm -hmm. that needs to be focused on my employees. Yes. And then I have uh, product. I have you know all these other things that need to that so that, the money that, is being delegated other exactly, places. Exactly. Exactly. That money needs to be working at all times. You know what I'm Ooh. saying? That, that, that dollar ain't your dollar just to do whatever. You know, <laughs> yeah. that dollar needs to be put to work. And, mm. if, and as long as you know that your dollar is broken up into these these dimes that are working, mm. then that's okay. You know what I'm saying? But don't never think that hey, that dollar that I got, hey, that's just for me to spend. So know? I want to piggyback off that because I want to ask you a question. So when you first started being an entrepreneur, what is what are some of the mistakes you made with the dollar? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> some, some of the mistakes that I made with the dollar is. Um, one, like you said, not reinvesting that dollar. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Two, trying to spend, um, um, trying to spend that dollar too quickly. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So sometimes, sometimes the best course of action is to when you get that money, don't spend it right away. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. as soon as you get the money in there, you're like, oh man, I just started this thing that I, I, I can buy. You know what I'm saying? No, yes. no, 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 yes, no. Yes. Let let it sit, marinate for a second. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And then say, do I really need that? You know, have I thought about this purchase? Is this person gonna make me money? You know, that's true. am I buying assets or liabilities? Ooh. You know what I'm saying? That's the other thing. So many people we 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 spend money on things that will yes. not make us another dollar. You know what I'm saying? Oh man. What good is it if it won't make you another dollar? You know what I'm saying? Is, and, 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 and I said it because me and my wife, we do a thing called fight for zeros. Okay. And so that means Monday through Friday, you gotta be a zero. Oh, correct. You cannot swipe your money. Correct. You cannot swipe your card. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah. if you're not that disciplined, your card at home. Correct. correct. So on Sunday, that means you gotta take the cash out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you take the cash out, this is all you can spend. Yeah. So this was so like my wife, she likes Starbucks. So how, uh, it's, it's eight dollars. Excuse me, babe, for watching the video. So it's eight dollars a day. And she gonna say it's not that expensive, but I'm still eight dollars drinks. Eight dollars eight yeah. times times five days a week. Yeah. That's forty dollars when you take out just for you, Correct. so you can enjoy your Starbucks. Yeah. We want, and what we learned though is. We start to see, instead of seeing 90 swipes, yeah. we go from 90 swipes to 12 swipes. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, that's that 
that's that discipline. Yeah, that's that discipline. <laughs> discipline, I mean, it's all, it's all in that discipline. Yes. It's all in that it's discipline. That discipline. You know? yeah. So, in one sentence, how would you sum up the internet for an entrepreneur? For an entrepreneur, one sentence. <laughs> uh, 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 opportunity to make money. Mmm, I like that. Yeah. That's all that the internet like is an opportunity to make money. I like that. And, and if, you, if you don't take those opportunities, that's on you. <laughs> it's an opportunity to make money. That's what it is because mm. it connects us in so many different ways. Mm. It's an opportunity to make money. I like that because I, I think people <laughs> people forget that part. Yeah. They forget, like, because even like you go to your Facebook right now, you'll see something say sponsored, sponsored. Correct. People paying, they paying. To, get that, to, get that, to get those eyeballs. To get those eyeballs. Yeah. So. Um, what are one of the main things that influences you right now? Uh, what do you mean? Like, like influence you as an entrepreneur? What is that thing that you get up every morning and say? Is it is it is it you trying to get your business to the next level, or just is it that thing that's saying, man, I gotta make this happen because I'm building my legacy? Yeah, um, I, I I think it's uh, it's, it's that legacy okay. uh, aspect for me right now. Uh, okay. You know, um, my wife and you I, made money. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we made money. Um, like my wife and I right now, you know, our kids are growing now. Okay. You know we started early. Yeah. And so our kids are growing. They're you know they're um, one's out of college. She's working. You know, sports reporter. Mm -hmm. My daughter, she's in college right now. And um, we're, we're empty nesters, you know. I got you. So now that we've done all that other stuff, and you know, in our 20s and 30s, now, right now, in our 40s, it's like, okay, what are we gonna build for? What are we gonna build for our legacy? You know, mm. what, are we gonna, what are we gonna? What do we have to leave for our kids and our grandkids? You know, mm. what I'm saying, and our great grandchildren. You know, what I'm saying. Mm. Um, that's what I'm trying to build right now. This, and this is that time to do that. So that's that. That's when your your influence is like, we gotta do this. Correct. Correct. So, correct. Not for, not for me. You know, no, no, no. But 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 and also also I'm trying to become I'm trying to become the man that I said I wanted to be. I want mm. the, the things the things that I want that I that I admired in other men. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, that's what I want to be. I want to okay. be all that guy wanted me to be. That's what I'm trying to get to right now. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? And now that I have less distractions, and I don't want to say my family's a distraction, but yes. now that we, now that I completed that area of my life, mm. now I have more time to just focus on this area. And you know. So the key is. Is is legacy greater than currency? <laughs> so 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 when you look at it, it's all about the time that you're in. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. about time. So so at this point of at, at this point, you can't spend legacy right now. You know what I'm saying? That's true. You can't, you, I can't spend. So legacy you need the right points. Now. I need those points. I, I can spend. I can spend whatever. I okay. But. The legacy is what is what my grandchildren would spend. Mm. They're gonna spend my legacy, and that will be their currency. And you know what I'm saying? If, if y'all watching this and it's like 300 years from now, when they put this on YouTube, <laughs> you better have that picture. Yeah. I need that. I need that big picture in your in your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say yeah. that's great, Dad. He exactly. set us up. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's what Steve Harvey said. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You, you know, you, your great great grandpa, you don't know his name because he ain't leave you nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's uh, that's crazy though. So um, if you was given a thousand dollars to spend right now, mm -hmm. all right, as an entrepreneur, where would you where would you spend that money at? Um, what would you put it on as an entrepreneur? Uh, the first, you got a thousand dollars. You just get started with a business. Where do you go with that? Um, the, the first thing I'm doing is I'm buying books and courses right? mm. because I need to know what I need, what I want to do with this money, first of all. Mm. So I, I need to have a plan for the money, right? So I would spend, uh, you know, I would spend that first hundred dollars on okay. books, resources, whatever I need to do to understand what it is I'm going to start doing next. I like that. And then that other nine hundred dollars, that's what I would spend to build a business. Mm. And and so so the first part would be books tell me what I need what what steps, I want to do actionable steps, actionable steps. Mm -hmm. and then the the next part is marketing dollars right, and you said the actionable dollars I mean you said um the marketing the, the marketing dollars listen um in, in in this in this new digital world mm. we have to find ways to get people's attention on the things that we want them to. To, to to purchase or buy that would be good for them. I'm not about when I, when I'm looking to sell items or sell content to you know to people out there. It's only because I think this will be beneficial for them. Yes. You know, I'm not trying to sell you know something that won't be better. I'm not trying to, to con people. Mm -hmm. the, the the content that I give people or the the products and services, I I, I really truly believe that it will benefit them yes. to to get to their dreams and their goals mm -hmm. and to their actions. So if I believe that, then I need to spend money to get them to realize that this product or service or whatever that I want will actually help them. Yeah, and I think, and, like, and people, this is the thing, like, as I'm building out my courses, I'm like, 
First of all, I don't want no 20 minute miles. Correct, correct. I want three to seven minutes. Correct. I like to get to the point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to, you know what I'm saying, overwhelm people because I can't overwhelm people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't want to overwhelm them. I want to be actionable steps. So what you said is key. So you take that first hundred, because somebody listening and watching, you you buy those books that's gonna push you, and then you got 900 left, so like 300, 400 going to courses, and another three or 400 go into- To marketing. To marketing. Yeah, go to marketing. And I, think, and I think people need to hear that though. You know what I'm saying? So, um, um, uh, all right, so the thing is, what do you most appreciate about entrepreneurs, being an entrepreneur, and what don't you appreciate? Listen, uh, I say what I don't appreciate is that all the responsibility. You kill what you eat. Listen, that's my motto. You kill whatever you, you eat. Kill. Listen, you're responsible for a hundred percent of the things that go wrong. Yes. And you're responsible for the hundred percent of things that go right. Wow. But you're responsible. It is your responsibility. You're able to respond. That's what responsible. Mm. You're, you're the one that's able to respond. I got you. No, you can't shirk it off to your employees or your spouse. I mean, you are responsible. I got and, you. And that that weighs heavy on a lot of people because a lot nowadays people don't they don't want to take responsibility. No. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, that's not my job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that's that's not my job. Oh, it's not your job. Whose job is it? Yes. You're the entrepreneur. You're the that's boss. True. You're the leader. That's you know, true. you're you're directing the ship in this pathway or whatever. Mm. And so people don't want to take responsibility, but that's exactly what you have to do if you're going to be a successful entrepreneur. You wow. have to take responsibility for everything, mm. from from the things that go wrong, from the small things to the big things. Mm. You have to take responsibility. And I think I, I think I'm not. I, 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 me, and I, I made a video the other day. It's like whatever you kill every day is what you eat. Correct. So it's it's the mindset of do you rather go to a building and they say, hey, here's your plate of food. <laughs> they feed you. Yeah. Here you go, sir. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, but you, even though when you finish it, you're still hungry. Correct. But Correct. this is all we're offering you today. Yeah. yeah. You know, the versus they drop you in the jungle. Correct. It's scary though in that jungle. It's scary. But you got to kill whatever you kill is yeah. what you eat. Correct. That's that's to me that comes with a um. Just a whole other mindset. So, what is the one of the worst things you ever did as an entrepreneur? One of the worst things I ever did as an entrepreneur: wasted money. Mm. <laughs> Waste money. I mean, um, I, I remember buying a product that I did not need. <laughs> <laughs> that I really didn't you just buy it. You, I mean, because it, it looks good. It looks oh, shiny. Okay. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay. You, know, you, you get, you see that saying like, man, if I had that one thing, I would kill this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, then, and there's, and there's usually never that one product that's yeah. gonna do that's gonna get you over the top. It's usually a, a, a I tell you those gems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like a variety of things that you want to pull from. It. Correct, correct. It, most of the time, it's a process that you need to build to get mm. to where you need. Not, it's not gonna be that one thing. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. That, there, there could be a, one thing that 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 might get you over the hump, mm -hmm. but then it's never gonna be that one thing. And mm. so when you're spending a whole bunch of money, you better that better be a process. It better be a process item. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Something that you say, hey, listen. As this thing, if, if it is one item, gotcha. the process of this thing working will get me the result I'm looking for. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Not and I think that's good though. I, I, I just think overall, mm -hmm. I just think people need to understand the processes and procedures Correct. and everything. The thing is this, I heard this. I they said, um, if, if, if you're building your business mm -hmm. and if you're not building nobody to replace you, Correct. you're not building your business. So how you do that, the, a process. I wake up in the morning. Now I'm just, something real quick. I wake up in the morning. Um, I go to the gym, I come downstairs, I meditate, I pray, mm. I get on my computer, I'm documenting my every hour. Correct. That's the process. And I think people are missing the process, the process yeah. of, of, of documenting your every your every moment. Um, an expert, what do you consider yourself an expert as? Um, an expert? I, I, I think I would be an expert um, in starting businesses. Mm. Just starting, because, and so many people have problems with starting businesses. Yes. You know, yes. Uh, and, and there's, you can get caught up in a couple things. Some people are good starters, some people are good finishers, and some people are good just in the middle and just, you know, doing the day to day activities. So, how do you, I'm, how I'm you position starter. them, though? Yeah, I mean, so. Those people, like, you got the ones that might start their life, but they can't even finish it. They can't even get to the middle. Yeah, yeah. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, so so, what, so the thing that you have to do, you have to identify one who you are, okay, and then identify the people that you need. So mm -hmm. because I'm a starter, I know that I need finishers and I need people who are who are good at the process. The, the, the consistent the, people. The consistent people. I got you. I okay. need the finishers and the consistent. Okay. If, I, if we talk about starting product uh, projects, starting a project, man, I got all the energy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I already know what to do. I'm like, hey, man, listen, we need to get this LLC. Yeah, we need to get you. this DBA. We need to do this. I got all the energy up front for that up 
upfront push. And a lot of times that's what you need, right? Because mm. some people, sometimes people are too scared. They won't take that first leap. That's they true. won't take that first step. But that's I'm that guy. I will take that first leap. Oh, yeah, I'll I take you. that first jump. That's you know, true. I just need the team behind me to continue that process yes. and to finish those processes. Mm. So I, I know what kind of person I am. So you need to identify those people. So the, the key is delegating. Absolutely. You got, got to you. delegate. I because you. you can't do everything. Mm. You can't, listen, there's only 25 hours. I mean, 25 hours. <laughs> there's only 24 hours. A, I wish it 25. There's only 24 hours in a day, yes. right? So it's how you manage that day. It's how you leverage that day. Mm -hmm. How you multiply that day, right? So Absolutely. it's not about your hours. It's how means how, how often you can multiply your hours. Mm -hmm. So I multiply my hours by using other people to help multiply. So if you got ten people, Correct. you don't got twenty four no more. You ain't got twenty four. You, you got, got twenty four. You got twenty four. You know, and all these ten people yes. are working on your plan. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And your vision, right? But it's to their benefit as well. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm never trying to exploit you know anybody that works with me or anything like yes. that. But I, I'm trying. I'm trying to get them. On a, on a plan and a vision that will take everybody to a, a But this is the thing though, and that's why I tell this why me and my wife, we got different stuff that we build and we like, okay, when we hire people, mm -hmm. the question is, we want to build you up. Yeah. First of all, I want to pay more than what your job pays. Correct, correct. Same thing, I want to make it a fun environment. Correct, correct. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I think the problem is, is and we are we are scared of entrepreneurs, especially for like, I'm telling them what to do. Well, yeah. some people, that's all they that's all they really care That's, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we gotta learn how to hire the right people. You gotta. Uh, you trying to you trying to you trying to hire a, a chief? Yeah. When you need to be hiring Indians, yeah. but you was always told what? Exactly. Uh, so I, I was always told that you wanna um, uh, hire slow mm -hmm. and fire quick. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hire slow and fire quick I because it. it to find that right person, it's gonna take some time. You know what I'm saying? It is. It's gonna and you want and you want to take your time and find that right person. But if it's not working out, you want to rip that bandaid off quick. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And as soon as that person gives you the inclination that, hey, this is not for them or da da da, you want to make sure that 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 they don't go into a, a cancer, you know, mm. so to speak. You want to make sure that they don't distract from your your day to day operations. That's hey, true. if they're not the, if they're not the one, get them out of there, quick, gotcha. quick, fast, in a hurry. Gotcha. But take your time in finding that right person. It might take you six months or a year to find that right person, That's but true. finding that right person is going to save you so much time, training, uh, you know, training budget, all that kind of good stuff. But if they're not gonna do one, get them out. Get them out the door quick. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna waste any more time on things that are gonna distract you. So, what is that next step that you need to take right now? The next step, for, for me, the next step. For your business to get to, like, say you are at, and I'm not putting your money out there because I don't really, I don't want, I don't like counting people money. Yeah. But say you at 10,000 a month. Uh -huh. What's that next step in your business that you can get to? Uh, Fifteen thousand. Yeah. So w once you get to a certain point, right? Once you get to to, to ten thousand a month, and, and your bills are taken care of, anything. Now it's about duplication, mm. right? So so if you're if you're making a steady ten thousand dollars a month, you're making one hundred twenty eight thousand yeah. a year. Mm -hmm. You know how you do that, right? So now it's only about multiplication. Mm. So how many times can I multiply this process that I that I have to make this ten thousand dollars? That's true. How many times can I multiply it and I do it? You. And here's the thing. Have I documented, like you said, have I documented the steps clearly enough? Do I know exactly what I do on a day to day basis <laughs> to make this $10,000? Yes. That I can just say, okay, if I do this exact same thing, mm. or if I get somebody else to do the exact same thing, and they thing, follow it, and they follow this, mm -hmm. I'm gonna reap the benefits because mm. I, if I need to duplicate this ten thousand dollars, I need I need to follow the same step, you know, one through ten, the same way every time. Mm. Now, once I duplicate that, now I got another ten thousand dollars. That's true. Now I want to do it again. Yes. Do it again, yes. Again, again. Yes. Now, you know, once, once you get to that first point where you know everything in the process, mm. and you say this pro this process makes me ten thousand dollars a month. Now it's about duplication. And I think people need to hear that though, because I think we get caught up in, I I know how to do this, I, 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 it's like, and then so many people are afraid Correct. to teach others. Correct. Because they like, they think if I teach them, they might just, they might. <laughs> but my thing is, I'm a big believer, we all have our own DNA for a reason. Because you can't be duplicated. Correct. Correct. And what God has for you, He has for you. Nobody yeah. can take it. Man, my wife is there all the time. All <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And me and my wife, we just, we, man, we was talking about it today, we was like, you know what? And we just realized this: who God has people assigned to us yeah. as a couple yeah. that we need to help. Correct, correct. You know what I'm saying? So there's no couple. So and again, that's responsibility. That's you know responsibility. That responsibility. So you do know? you want to take on yeah. that responsibility? So um, nah, I'm gonna ask you that question right there. Um, all right. So if you if you can accept any mission right now, all right, as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. any mission, if you can accept this mission. What direction would you go? When I say direction, then do you do you are you an entrepreneur that wanna 
hire a lot of people or do you want to go in this thing and try to build it by yourself first? So um, there's a, a quote that I, I remember. It said, "Listen, if you want to go, if you want to go fast, mm -hmm. go by yourself. Okay. That's if you want to go far, go with others. Okay. All right. If you want to go fast, you you don't have to carry nothing. It's just you. You can run fast. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to go farther, you need people with you. you know so what so what you what you so right right now what, are you running fast or are you running farther? Where you at right now? Right, right right now I'm in the process of slowing down and trying to run further. Okay. Right? Because yeah. I, I I ran fast to get where I was at. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Know, so it's okay to run. Fast. It, it's okay to run. Fast. Okay. I want this. I want people. Matter of fact, speed loves success. Yes. Yeah. Success, success loves success speed. Loves speed. Yes. You know what I'm success yes. loves speed. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 easier to get something done fast mm -hmm. and say, listen, I need a, I just need to run, keep my head down, and get this money and get the process down and get to this ten thousand dollars a month. And then I'll slow down once I got the process. Because somebody going to say, they're going to say, well, um, you guys said delegate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, listen to, yeah. Yeah. Listen yeah. to yeah. the yeah. difference, though. Correct, correct. You need to get to a certain point by yourself so that you know the process. There you go. Then you can delegate all the things that you already know okay. that, you, that you need. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I, if, you, if you don't know it first, then you can't tell somebody else. You can't, yeah, I don't want people to get that. I don't want people to get that mixed up. Correct, correct. Because they'd be like, oh, y'all said delegate. You know, yeah. you said 200. Um, 40 hours. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you can understand. Yeah. Once you have the process down, then you can delegate okay. the, those, those tasks. You. you know what I'm saying? But if you don't know the process, you can't delegate. So, um, passion versus purpose as an entrepreneur. Yeah. What's the difference? Man, it is hard, man. <laughs> there, there are, it's this really hard because there's a lot of people that say follow your passion to make your money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't necessarily subscribe to that. I, I don't necessarily subscribe to that. I got that. you. Um, I, I will say that technology um, in my business is not necessarily my passion. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's something that I'm very, very good at. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But it's not my passion. You know, like, okay. like if, like, if I, like, if, 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 if I won, uh, you know, a hundred million dollars a day, I, I might not be doing. I might not be doing. Uh, oh, you out. out. You out. I'm out. I'm out. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, yes. But that doesn't that doesn't mean that that's not the, that that it's not the vehicle that, that will take you to what you actually want to do. Okay, we're talking about vehicles, right? Yes. So so you know uh, you know you might have a you might have a, a Honda Accord or whatever. Mm. I don't need a Ferrari to get me to work every day. You that's, know what I'm saying? That's true. I need a I need a reliable car. I need a reliable vehicle to get me to my destination. The mm. the Ferrari the Ferrari is, it looks good. It, is, it looks good. People talking yeah, about it. But that's my fun car. Yeah. You know, yeah. That, that's that's after I, that's after I made my money at work, going mm. to work all the time and do, building my business. That Ferrari is 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 the is the uh, is the 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 gym, the cream, the cream. You mm. know what I'm saying? I got the cherry you. on top. You mm. know what I'm saying? But it's not the Sunday. It's the cherry but on top. I, I think people get that mixed up. Correct, correct. You know what I'm saying? So, and you don't subscribe to passion. No, I don't subscribe. But I do. If, if it is your if it is your passion, if it is your passion, then great. Let me tell you why I subscribe to it. And I, I love what you said because then the reason why I subscribe to passion yeah. is because passion is, is something that gives you fuel. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Even though I'm good at something, mm -hmm. don't because I want people to. I, was, I used to work at the railroad. Mm -hmm. I was good at it. Yeah. Doesn't mean I need to stay there. Correct. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So both both works for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, but you but you but you but you use, but you use what you were good at. To fund yes. with your passion. That's true. That, that's what you need that's to do. True. So, true. so, so, so. Some passions don't make money. That's correct. Some passions don't make money. Uh, some passions don't make money. Let's be but, honest. but you need to fuel. You need to. You need to be able to fund your passion. That's you know true. I agree. And, and then your passion might be the thing that funds, you know, everything else. I got you. But until you, until you're able to fund your passion, do what you're good at. You know yes. what I'm saying? Do the thing that make money. You know what I'm saying? You. Worry about making money, and then worry about your passion. If your passion makes you money, then great. Mm -hmm. Then I mean, you got the best of both worlds. But if, if you're not at your passion where your passion makes money yet, then do what makes you money in the short term, if, it, if it's quicker. If you can run faster to get that, to fund that, then do that. That's what I suggest, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Subscribe, because it's, it's, it's a different, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, entrepreneurship is a journey. Correct. It's not a destination. Exactly, it's not a destination. People get it mixed up. Yeah. They say, oh, I'm, I didn't made it. <laughs> really? <laughs> You think you didn't make it. Everybody, yeah. somebody else is doing better than you. Correct, correct. All right, so uh, what's the first impression that you want to give people about you? About me? Man, hmm. I mean, when I, and I always, um, I always say, you know, um, what, what would be on your tombstone? You know what I'm saying? Mm, you know, what, what that's, be on your tombstone? that's something to think about, though. Yeah, what, what's going to be on your tombstone? So I, I want to be known as uh, 
a, a man, uh, I, I want to be known as a man of God that was that wanted to help people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because um, at the end of the day, I, you know, that's all that matters is, is the connections that you make. You that's know true. That's and, true. and the friendships and the, and the family that you're able to, those bonds right there. So, I mean, listen, it's not about me. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I tell anybody, it's not about me. It's about God. You know, it's about Jesus mm. Christ. Mm. And, you know, I, you can't, you know, I try to be, you know, Unapologetic about that, because that's that what it's about. It, 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 yeah, you know, listen, you know, stand on yeah, what you believe in. Exactly. exactly. I'm a firm believer. Like exactly. I tell people, I might curse. You're right. But I believe in me some Jesus. <laughs> Sorry to tell you, but I do. Yeah. And, yeah. and if you and if you don't believe in Jesus, you can unsubscribe <laughs> to this channel. It's on you. You know. What I'm, saying? Yeah, exactly. I'm just being. I mean, because yeah, yeah. you gotta. I'm, I'm with that. Yeah. And I think so many people we waver. Correct. We Correct. we waver our our success. We waver what people think about us. Right, right. We care. Yeah. I'm like, you can't care. Yeah. The yeah, minute yeah. I stopped caring yeah. about things, especially when we was out there handing out prepaid legal stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. I stopped caring. Correct. Prepaid legal gave me the courage to say, man, you can't care. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? And it was scary. Yeah. Scary. Yeah. Talking yeah. About you, you can't care about the things that, that don't matter. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. I'll never see these people again. I, and, and a lot of times we, we are scared because of the thoughts in our head, not in the thoughts of other people's head, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm thinking what they're thinking, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm, saying? I'm telling them what to think in my head, you know what I'm saying? They might not even think, they're like, who's this guy? I don't care, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. They, they, I mean, they're going to forget about you, you know, mm -hmm. as soon as you, you, you walk away, you know what I'm saying? That's so true. it's really about all the things that are in your head, not mm -hmm. really what's in other people's head. So the last thing that you have done that you said you would pat your own stuff on the back for as an entrepreneur, what is it? Because um, it's okay. The problem is, I know a lot of times, pat your own self on the back. My thing was writing this book. Yeah. I pat myself on the back. You know what um, I'm saying? I, I think um, bringing my wife home. Mm, um, I like bringing that. Bringing my wife home, um, I think it was like seven or eight years ago mm. when, um, when she was working and the kids were, you know, in junior high, no, elementary and, and junior high. I was like, listen, it, it, we got to bring you home. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I, our family works better with you being home, you know what I'm saying? I love it. And I worked hard, man. I worked hard. Man. I was working late nights. I was Woo. I was sleeping at and you know at my clients' offices, you know, building mm. servers, doing all this. Nobody stuff. see that. Nobody though. see that stuff. <laughs> Listen, nobody see those nights, you know what I'm saying? Nobody. So nobody see those. But that's all I did all that because I was working a job and I was building my business on the side. You know what, mm. what I'm saying? So I did all that so I can bring my wife home so wow. that she can be a mom, so she can have all that time to really enjoy that and also build the legacy. This that's a legacy, you know what yes, I'm saying? It is. I, our kids are a legacy. Yes. And the fact that she was home to help, you know, support them and, and build them and stuff like that. And I didn't have to worry about that aspect. Mm. And I didn't have to worry about building, you know, building our dreams and legacy. I that built our legacy, you know what I'm saying? Mm. That's part of it, you know what I'm saying? My kids are my legacy, you know what I'm mm. saying? So that then that was the last thing I could not the last thing, but that was one thing I So last year, what was the what was the biggest impression on your business? Um last year was last year was process. Last year mm. was process. Last year was was on automatic, you know what I'm saying? It was on automatic. I had to do less last year than I had to do any other year. You and know? that's because of? Because of the process I had put mm, in place. I like that. Listen, I, be, be, before last year, I mean, it was always a fire I had to put out. I was like, oh man, <laughs> this server's down or this or whatever. Man, I got I got focus, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I, I, I had to come to Jesus moment. I told myself, <laughs> I, I, listen, I still have the recording. Come on. That I, I, I was in my car and I said, listen, you will never be in this situation again. Mm. Never, never, never. You're gonna get stuff straight and wow. never be in this situation again. And I put all I put all I, I listed all the things I needed to do, and I put all the all the um, the tools in place that I needed to make sure that whatever wow. happened to me never happened again. And now the process, I can duplicate this process again and again and again because I have I have ironclad processes that will mm. work and will stand the test of time. Now, and I think people need to people really need to understand that there was a moment you were sitting in that car, crying, crying, crying. Listen, listen, and then, and and. And at that moment, you felt very low. Yeah. You could have gave, you could have been like, man, you know what, I just gotta go give me a regular job. <laughs> but that moment either, it broke you or made you stronger, but it made you stronger. It made you strong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think people need to not see the the glimpse and the glamour. Yeah. yeah. They so like, oh yeah, man, you did it, man. You... Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. You don't know that me and my wife arguing over this book. Correct. <laughs> arguing at night. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We argue. Like, you can fix that. You can take that. We arguing, but then once it's done, then people, oh, 
know your wife. Yeah, but we have our days. Yeah, yeah. But listen, I love how to dip. Yeah. So. Listen, success is just the tip of the iceberg. You yes. know what I'm saying? That's just the tip. The other, that's this 10%. The other 90%, that's below the surface. <laughs> yes. That's below the surface. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So yes. all the hard work, the dedication, the long hours, all that stuff is underneath the water. Yes. People only see the iceberg. They're like, oh man, that's a big iceberg. <laughs> no, that iceberg is huge underneath huge. the water. You huge. know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah. So, so um, thing I want to ask you though. So, think about life. So, the boundaries that people should put on themselves as an entrepreneur. What are those boundaries? I mean, there are no b- boundaries are there. Um, and, 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 let me kind of expand on that. The reason why I say boundaries, like sometimes it's good to not have the, the wrong people in your circle. Correct. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. what they some people just don't they don't see the vision. Correct. Correct. So I mean, I, you kind of expand on that. You you want to make sure you have people that are not taken away from your vision and mm. taken away from your energy. You know what I'm saying? Right. It, like it, it, listen, it's so easy to get a negative person in your in your life. You know what I'm saying? Because because you knew them for a long time, or they're your boy. Or whatever, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or they're just in close proximity to that's you true. because they're part of your family, mm. so you see them all the time. But anybody that's drawing that energy away from you, that takes away from you. That's mm. the more energy that you have to build back up to get back to that level to do what you got to do now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if somebody comes inside and says, "Oh, I wouldn't do that." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Or you know, I, you know. It, it, it didn't work like that when I did it. Right? Like, I don't care if it's ain't about you. You know what I'm saying? You know about me. You know what I'm saying? Instead of people that's that's you know that's building it, you're like, and sometimes it's just you know um, addition by subtraction. A lot of times, if you just take that person out of your life, if you just remove that person, you'll go to the next level. Just removing Man. them, you know, you'll go to the next level. That's true. And, and and people are there. You know, some people are gonna be there for a reason, a season, or forever. You know what I'm saying? That's true. And you just need to figure out. You know what? What that? What that uh, aspect is going to be? For you, mm. you know and I think that, and I think that's good though. So, um, if you had an extra hour in a day, what would you do with it? Man, this I, is this is this is an extra, extra an extra hour. Like God said, Steve, I'm stopping time. I'm giving you one hour, and then after this one hour, I'm gonna start back time again. What would you do with it? Uh, man, I would. I mean, every day one hour stops for you. Mm. It stops for me. What would I do? Personally, <laughs> I, I, I was I was I was split I was split it up because I okay okay I, I, for me I would try to maybe play a little bit more basketball. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> I have the time to play. Well, I, I love basketball. Okay. I don't know okay. <laughs> you know I, I would I would spend some time you okay. know, recreationally play a little basketball. Okay. And then that other time I would um I would try to get wisdom. Mm. I would really try to get wisdom. That's I, good I, though. I mean, That's good. Wisdom is. <laughs> Man, it's not just knowledge, right? Wisdom is not just knowledge. Because a lot of people know stuff, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But wisdom is having the knowledge and, and knowing when to use it. Woo. Knowing when to use it. That's Man. the wisdom. You Talk know to the people. It's having knowledge and know when to do what you got to do. That's you know what I'm saying? Facts. And a lot of people don't have wisdom, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And, they, and they're not seeking wisdom. Woo. You know what I'm saying? You know, when, when God was talking to Solomon, you know what I'm saying? Solomon, you know, uh, you know he, he, he asked, he said, hey, you can have anything. You know, he said, hey, I just want wisdom. And God said, since you asked for wisdom, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you much more than that. I'm gonna give you wisdom and riches. You know what I'm saying? Because you asked for the right thing. So people ask me too. They say, well, what do you ask for every day, God? Uh, Lord, I say, I only ask God for two things. Mm-hmm. Favor and wisdom. Man. I want the favor so when I step in the room, people can say, oh, there's something about him. Yeah, yeah. And I want the I want the wisdom so I can know what rooms to go into. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only thing I pray for. No. Not money. Yeah. I'm asking for favor, God, and wisdom. Yeah. I don't want nothing else. You got. You got. When you when you're looking at stuff, you got to start look asking for the foundational things, mm. the things that things can be built on. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like I don't want the house. Give me the land so I can build the house on the yeah. land. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm yes. saying? I don't, I, don't, I, don't want, I don't want just want a house. I want the foundation already built. Then I can build a house on the foundation. But I think people go look at the model home. Correct, correct. And don't worry about the land. They don't worry about the land. Home. They're looking at the home. It's like, listen, <laughs> you know, listen, the, the three little pigs, the, the big bad wolf was blowing down the house. You know, they were blowing down the house. That was true. You know what I'm saying? But That's listen, true. Listen, you get the land, the land's more important because they ain't making no more land. Mm. They, they making houses all day. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't making no more land. Ooh, wait, That's why you're getting real estate. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they ain't making no more <laughs> So, you go to Mars. <laughs> what, what three things would you leave in a time cap- capsule for people to open it in the next 50 years? Next 50 years? Um, what three things would you leave? I would leave, um, I would leave a book. I would leave, a, I would leave the Bible. 
Okay. I don't need the Bible, just in case you know yeah. what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave the Bible. I would leave a um I would leave a uh, uh man, man, this is a good question. I I I, 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 I look I look at this question. Um uh, in a town in a town castle. Time, you leave it. The next fifty years somebody about to open it up. You gone. Yeah, I'm gone. Mr. Smooth, he left this for us. We got to open it. This is gonna help us for the next fifty years. Okay. Okay. All right. So the bottle was one. The bottle was one. Okay. I might leave you a nugget of gold. I might leave you a nugget of gold. Okay. Just a nugget. Look, okay. A big nugget. Just a little nugget. <laughs> okay. Um, and then what I want to leave in this town castle, man. This is a good question. Uh, oh. 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 Uh, do I want that one? Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's a I, difficult I, one. I, I like. I might leave this movie. This movie. Okay. Uh, this, this, this is a good movie. And and a lot of people might not like it, but I like it. Okay. Uh, it's called The Secret. Oh, oh yeah. it's, I, it's, love it. it's, I love it. I love The Secret. I love, I love The Secret. I love it. And it's it's a good mindset mm-hmm. movie, right? You know, mm-hmm. and it, it's about mindset at the end of the day. You, so, you gotta change your mindset. So let's pick back off of that. How can we make the secrets for the next generation? Man, listen. Me um, and you and some other people. Oh, what can we? What kind of documentary can we create? That can leave this for them. Listen, um, I think it's all about that, right? Um, <laughs> I, I don't know what we can leave. I don't know what we can leave from them, but like the the black community, and, and this this is one of my passions right now as well. Is the black community? You know, mm. like we need to we need to change the culture. Okay. We need to change the culture. Um, we we were talking about the NBA and um, uh, and certain teams. You have to change culture in the locker room for you to have. For you to have different performance on the on the court, right? Big and so, if we want better performance in what we're doing in our everyday lives, we have to change the culture That's that true. will change the performance. That's you know true. what I'm saying? So we have to get away from this. You know, I don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I don't. Don't ask me no question. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Chris Rock that when, when, but when you but when, when, when you do know something, when you do know, you just you're just not sharing it. Exactly. Or when we get to a certain level, correct? It's like. I don't really want to tell yeah, Steve yeah, because yeah. he might do okay, he might be get better yeah, than yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? See, see, we in our culture we still have the scarcity mindset. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We still we still think that there's not enough for everybody. There's more than enough. More than enough. Yeah. More than enough. Listen, there are there are eight billion, there are eight billion people on the planet right now. And if we were all, if you put all eight billion people, they would still only fit in the city of Houston. Wow. And then you still have the whole rest of the world, you know what I'm saying? That's to, crazy. To, to, to populate, you know what I'm saying? That's but crazy. there's more than enough of everything that we need. Mm. We throw away more food. This should be nobody starving. No way. Should, we throw away more food, you know what I'm saying? This should be nobody thirsty. Listen, I let the, I let the, uh, you know, we let the tub run or the shower run for an hour at a time, you know what I'm saying? Oh. This should be nobody thirsty, you oh. know what I'm saying? So oh. there's more than enough. Mm. You know, we have people writing books every day. The libraries are filled with people there with, with books there and nobody's reading them you know what i'm saying like right. so we have more than enough for everybody but because we have the scarcity mindset and because we think that these things are ours listen i ain't got nothing you know what i'm saying mm. I, listen none of this stuff is mine you know what i'm saying i, I might be a steward of this stuff temporarily but it's not mine it's, it, it can't be mine because i can't take it with me when mm. i'm when i leave this planet you know what i'm saying so it's not mine you know what i'm saying i'm just a steward mm. you know so what is what is that thing that scares you right now man that that scares me mm-hmm. man uh I mean, personally, the thing that scares me is um, is being not being able, mm, okay. not being able. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like, either you know, uh, that's why I like to keep in good shape. You know what I'm saying? Not being able to to run and jump mm. and being stuck in my own body. You know what I'm saying? Man. That that is we what, all get I, <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I I I I I appreciate you know. You know, you can have money, you can have all the stuff, but if you don't have health, if you don't have health, you can't enjoy any of that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's so, true. so, so we need to be a people that are, you know, that are trying to stay in shape, that are eating well, eating properly, and you know, just being active. You know what I'm saying? True. Because at the end of the day, if, if you ain't got health, you know, what what good is it? You know what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. can't enjoy it. So, what are some things you think you're struggling with right now? So, what are some things you think that you're that you're struggling with? Um, I'm always struggling with, and, and everybody's going to struggle with this at some point. Is belief. Mm. It's belief. Um, believe that you, but you, but you're already successful. But you saying believe that you this, can get this, to another level? This, this, this. Okay, okay. yeah, this, this level. Okay, okay. This break, level break it down. Okay, you know, it, it's belief, and belief to get to the next level is is is, is paramount, right? Mm. To get to another level, you have to believe that you that you're already there. 
you got to believe that you, you can already get see there. yourself You already got to see yourself there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, the, man, I, I can go into a lot of different things. I, I don't want to be all metaphysical yeah, 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 yeah. and stuff like that. But, like, but people need to hear it, though. We're not, th this time, the time that we are, the present is mm -hmm. already the past. Wow. It's already the past. Right. right, the present is already in the past. Mm. So this moment that you're having right now is or it is it's already gone, it's already in the past. Mm. So if I want a better future, then I have to be I have to work in the future. Mm. And I can only work in the future in my mind. So you know what I'm that's when that quote comes in. Um yesterday is history. Mm. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is but present. today is a right. gift. That's, that's why you call it present. present. Correct, correct. So yeah. but I'm just Yeah, but but we can you know, so I have to, you have to believe that you can work in the future wow. so that by the time the present gets here, it's already here. Now you, now you can do whatever you got to do in the present, mm. but you already worked in the future. Wow. And so that just takes, that takes a lot of mental, it takes a lot of mental energy. Mm. That's the one thing people are afraid to do. They're afraid to spend that time thinking about what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Tough. Thinking about, not only thinking about it and wishing, mm. but planning it out and then actually taking the action. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Because you, it, once you know all the steps in there, all the next thing to do is just to do it. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That, that's, I mean, that's the easy part. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I, that's the easy part. But knowing what you have to do next, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I like to play a lot of basketball. You know, it's about the jump shot, right? You, you know, listen, you want to bring that elbow in. Come you on. Keep it like it. You want to go through. You want to follow through. You want to have that release. You want to keep it up there like that. But everybody, but everybody, everybody. Should have a jumper. So everybody should have a jumper. But right? they don't. They don't. They don't. Well, you know? wow. Because they either they either one haven't thought about how to actually shoot, mm -hmm. right? Or they haven't thought about it enough so that it becomes automatic when they do it. Okay. They you know what I'm saying? Yes. So the more you think of the more you think about it, the more you rehearse it in your mind, mm -hmm. when you actually do it, it becomes automatic. Now mm -hmm. you just shoot and jump. Now it just means that, hey, I need to get to the gym, get this ball, and then start shooting the shot. Oh, wow. But that's the easiest part, you know what I'm saying? Yes. That's yes. the easiest part. Yes, so. and, I, I, and I think people people need people need to hear that because you already seeing yourself in the future. Like, like I'm about to launch my membership site, I'm like, I'm gonna have a thousand people. Correct. I might start off with 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yeah. But I'm having a thousand people paying seven, seven dollars a month. Yeah. But you already know all the steps in that process. Yes. You already know all the steps in yes. the process. Yes. What a lot of people do is they just wish for the end. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. they, 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 they wish for the success, but they don't they, but they don't they don't know the process in this mm -hmm. in, in, in the success. But I, I only too, I only work off the law of one percent. Yes. So Great law. So yeah. so if I'm trying to get a thousand people, mm -hmm. I need to reverse engineer and Correct. say how can I get a million people yeah. in one month yeah. to see to see my membership site? Yeah. So a million, one percent of that is one is a is a is, is, is a thousand. Exactly. So how much is gonna cost me a day? Correct. To get those eyeballs to see that to see that site. Yeah. That's reverse engineering. There you go. And, and again, like you said, you gotta but you gotta you gotta know that in your head. Though, you, yeah. know what I'm you gotta know that in your head. Yeah. But, pe but people um, skip over these steps in their own head, mm -hmm. and then when they go to do something, they're like, "Oh, I can't do it." Of course you can't do it because you didn't even think about it. You know that's what I'm saying? You didn't even think about the process that's that's going to take. So when you go to do something, then you don't have the you don't have the knowledge, or you never thought about it. So you get stuck, and you're like, "I don't know what to do now." Now you gotta go back, and then like, <laughs> yeah. and now when you get stuck, you're like, "Oh, I can't do it." And then that becomes a self fulfilling prophecy. That that becomes the, the, the message crazy. that you start telling yourself. That becomes the affirmation: "I can't do it." Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not gonna work for me because you tried it and because you didn't because you didn't do the work in the future in your mind you got to do the work the work will always have to be done if you do it in your mind do it in the future I'm with you. then what once the present gets here now you can get to it so what do you what do you tell your 13 year old self if you could tell your if you the person you are today yeah. you can go back and tell your 13 year old self what do you tell them as an entrepreneur as an entrepreneur mm -hmm. um if i start now if, if, if I'm consistent now, mm -hmm. I will I will have so much more in the future. Wow! If I'm just consistent, yeah, consistent. If you're just consistent, you the the law the law of compound interest mm -hmm. will take over. If you're just consistent, gotcha. I'm not saying do I'm not saying do a big thing every day. I'm just saying do a little thing every day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't do a big thing sometimes. Do a little bit every day. But see, one penny compounded over over over, 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 over five million dollars. There you go. So. 
that's a good mindset that people need Correct. to hear. Correct. So your bucket list. What's on your bucket list? My bucket list, man. I want to do some traveling, man. Okay. 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 Traveling. Okay. You know okay. Uh, so me and the missus, we want to go to Bali. Okay. Uh, we want to. Oh, we all going to Bali. Hold on, need to know. <laughs> I'm on the trip. I'm on the trip. <laughs> when? <laughs> Let me know when. Yeah. Listen, we, we, I'm we on the trip. Yeah. We, so we going to Bahamas, you know. I know. Yeah. Going to Bahamas. Yeah. 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 We going to Aruba. Oh yeah. Look, we gonna be on that. Okay. 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 That's gonna be um, in July. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I want to do um, my bucket list stuff is um, uh, do some traveling. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure what this looks like, you know, but I want to. I want to be. I want to be a leader in the black community. Mm. I, I really do because we don't have any leaders right now, mm. or, or the leaders that we have either are not reaching reaching the masses like they should, or. They don't, or they're selling out. I, I don't want to. I don't want to call them sellouts. Okay. Okay. You know okay. I, I, I don't want. I don't want to call them sellouts. But they're not all there. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? So when you say a leader, you're talking about leading, leading them to where? Leading them, leading them to a new culture. Mm, right. Okay. So we, we again, like I, we talked about this earlier. We can't keep doing the same things thinking that we're gonna get a different result. You know what I mean? We can't. We, 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 we keep doing the same things. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, when, when we. When we coming out of slavery, we own one half of one percent. We still own one half of one percent <laughs> after a hundred plus years of slavery being over. Come on. Why is that the case? You know what I'm saying? Why are we not why are we not duplicating? Now there are reasons, there are reasons to, you know, why we're in the predicament we are. You know? I got you. But we can't use those reasons as excuses. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Excuses are, are reasons to be useless. Hey, <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So I mean, I like that though. Yeah. That's why I said I wanted to, I seen something that was built on the land. I'm like, man, we need to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And build that. So I mean we're gonna start gathering some things. So what are three things you wish you would have done differently? That I wish I would have done differently yes. in, in life? Or in, as an entrepreneur? Let's go <laughs> let's go in life. Um in life, different I I, there's nothing I wish I did differently. Okay. So and, 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 the re and, and, after, and a lot of people will say they would change stuff, but if I change anything, I might not be here. You I'm know sure. what I'm saying? I might not be exactly, sure. and I like where I am right now. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I like where I am. I love that, you know, I love my wife, I love my kids. And if anything that I would have changed would have, would have changed those things, then I don't know if I would have liked it better. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. So I, I don't have anything that I would have changed. Now, are there some things that I, would, I want to do now? Come on. Yes. Yes, there are definitely some, the things I want to do now is be more uh, more consistent, okay, more focused, mm. and then um, um, and just just be a, a better a better delegator of the time of the process that I've already I've already formulated. Okay. I, like I have, a, I, I, we both we both reach levels of success right now mm. that other people are like man I want to get to. Yeah. I mean, if people see my lifestyle, you know, and say oh, okay okay. Man, I want to be like you, Steve. You know what I'm saying? Like, how are you up here at the court at you know at nine o'clock, eight thirty in the morning? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, listen, I'm just playing the battle. You know, what I'm you know like, how are you doing the things? Yeah. Like, y'all going on trips? Y'all doing all this stuff? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know, again, like I said, we put in those hard work. Like, we put in those hours. Damn, man. Man, I don't see the they don't hours. see those hours. You know what I'm saying? They don't see those hours. You know, they don't see those hours. And your wife, like, where you going? Where you been? You know yeah. What I'm but you know, I'm at that point. But now I want to be able to. To consistently duplicate that, not mm -hmm. just for me, but for other people, and show those people how they can get to where I'm at. Because I like it's, that. It's not that. It's not that hard. You know what I'm saying? So, what are four things people should know about you? About me? Um, I'm not perfect. I don't want nobody to put me up on a pedestal. I you know what I'm saying? saying? Don't don't put me on a pedestal. I'm the same way. Listen, be, don't think that I'm special. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And because I, I see a lot of I see a lot of people in, in top position and people like, oh, I love them and da da da. Mm -hmm. No, don't put me up there. Don't put me up there because it I, I might disappoint you. You know, I'm just a man. <laughs> I'm just a man. You know what I'm saying? I might disappoint you. You know what I'm saying? And, and I don't and I don't, and I don't want you to think that I, I'm going to disappoint you because everybody's going to disappoint somebody. Yes. So yes. Um, so don't put me on a pedestal. I'm just like everybody else, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like most people. Um, uh, um, let me see, that's two things. That's two things. Uh, you, I don't know, that's two things. So I tell people all the time, don't put me on a pencil because first of all, you ain't gonna outwork me. Yeah. I'm gonna run circles around you. I'm not playing. My wife, I, she just told me yesterday, yeah. you're gonna start coming to bed at 8.30. <laughs> not gonna be sitting for me like that. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you get up at 4.30, yeah. and then I'm gone all day, and then you're going to know. You're not going to do that. You're getting away from that computer. Yeah. So I was like, all right. So, but it's just that because I, I, I feel like I'm behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like, oh, man. I'm, I'm not. My level of success is when I'm when I'm hitting six figures a month consistently. Correct, correct, correct. I feel like I'm good. I, I asked for a million, this six figures. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> so describe your perfect day. My perfect day. Um, perfect day. I would get up. I would have a a, a good workout. Uh, maybe play some basketball. Um, I would go uh, spend some time with the family. Mm. You know, I love spending time with my family. And yes. It, 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 they, you know, they're y'all got all the pictures. Yeah, we. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Spend some time with the family. Um, definitely uh, t- t- pray, read the word, mm. um, and then um, really, I, I like to pour into people. I really do. I, I like to pour into people. I like um, I like people not asking me for for wisdom, but I like imparting wisdom to people because mm. so many people are this lost and it's it listen it just takes a little bit you know what I'm saying? It, it takes a little bit just to encourage a little kid or or adult or somebody that's lost their way it just takes a little bit you know and i like that you know i, mm. I like that aspect you know so. and, and 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 that's that's why i said what you just said that's why i'm launching my membership saying mm. i like to pour into it yeah, yeah. i want to bring something every day to the table they can right. say no, he's gonna be on that Zoom call. I'm gonna yeah. be on there. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be taking notes. Yeah. And I, I, I love to point to people. Yeah. So, last thing is, yeah. what wisdom you think that people can take away from you? Like, impart a uh, two part question. Okay. Impart some wisdom into the people, and will you see yourself in the next three to five years? Um, some wisdom. Uh, don't be afraid to be great. Mm. Don't be afraid, you know. Don't mm. don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to give your best and your all. Um, pe- people are afraid of that. People are afraid because they because they think if I do if I give my all and it doesn't work out, then I'll be disappointed. No, 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 no. Don't think like that. I got you. give your all, and then whatever happens happens. You know mm. what I'm saying? And then you can still be you can still be proud of what you did. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like but that. but people don't like to give their best because they want an excuse. They're like, oh, the reason I didn't win is because I didn't give 100. You know mm. That's what that's what it was. It was it wasn't because I it wasn't because I wasn't the best person or I didn't have enough knowledge or I didn't do it. It's because I didn't do the best. But if I had given 100, I would have got there. You know what I'm saying? They want to give themselves that out. You know what I'm oh, saying? Okay. They want to okay. give themselves that out to okay. say, you know, uh, you know, if I had did my best, then I would have made it. You know, mm. they want that. They want that built-in excuse. You know, um, and then what was the second part? Well, you see yourself in the next three to five. Years. Three to five. Three to five years. I, I see my. I see my company um, being probably ten times what it is right now. Wow. Like ten times what it is right now. I like that, and that's because technology is is, is so big. You mm. know, what I'm saying it's growing so rapidly, and so now with the process that I already have right now, I'll be able to multiply that. So I think definitely I'll be ten times as big as I am right now. So. Yeah. Hey, listen, man. I'm glad you guys. Hope you guys took some notes. Hey, he's the man with the plan, man. man. He gave you guys a whole bunch of nuggets. Man, thank you guys for watching this video. And hopefully you share it with everybody that you know. We put it right here on YouTube, man. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Be blessed. Peace. Peace.